guys learning with rich so we are now on creating a fire protection system so in this exercise we're going to begin work on the project that contains a wet fire protection system so we are going to create a new pipe type and then configure conversion settings that we will use when we create piping to physically connect the sprinklers and we are also going to check a space schedule that you use to assess the coverage for the fire protection system. All right, so let's get started. So the first um, exercise is we're going to create a pipe pipe. Okay, so let's do this. So let's go to the project browser and then let's go to the families and then let's look for the pipes. We're going to create a new pipe type. Okay. So I'm going to right-click the standard, so just like what we did last time on our sanitary. So I'm going to right-click the standard, and then I'm going to duplicate that. Okay, and then let me just rename the duplicated uh, type. So I'm just going to uh, click and then press F2 to rename it to Fire Protection. Fire Protection. Wet. Okay. Right. And then I'm going to double click the fire protection wet to open the type properties. Okay. And then we are going to specify here the routing preference. So let's click that one. Okay. And then let's change this. So do we have here a carbon steel? So I'm going to select uh, carbon steel here. So let's say uh, 40. Okay, and then I'll just select here. Okay. Okay, so that's the material that I want for my uh, fire protection wet pipe type. Okay. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to configure the pipe conversion settings. Okay, so you know this already. We're going to open the mechanical settings. You can type MS or you can go to Systems tab and then you can click that dialog launcher, which is your mechanical settings. So just click that one and then let's look for the co pipe settings conversion. Okay, and then as you can see, we are working on the main pipe and then we can also work on the branch here, but you need to change the system here. So we are going to change this to fire protection wet system. And then for the pipe type, Let's change this to fire protection wet. And then we are just going to use the middle elevation of 9 feet. And this offset elevation places the pipe, uh, the main pipe at 9 feet above the reference level for the views. So level 2 is the reference level for the views where you will be designing. So the pipe main uh, will be offset from level 2. Okay, so let's also modify our branch. So for the branch, again, let's change the value for the pipe type to fire protection wet. And then same with the middle elevation of 9 feet. Okay, so by the way, the branch offset allows you to automatically create branches that run above or below the main and other obstacles. So this is useful for avoiding interference with pipes, ducts, structural beams, or other components. Okay? So let me now select here. Okay. And that's it. So that is how we specify the pipe settings. Okay? So on our next video, we are going to determine zone requirements. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.